Alright, welcome back everyone to the second episode of this walkthrough. Um, in the interim between oops, the last episode and this one, I got discovered and... Well, stealth went down the toilet, what can I say? This happens to me more often than not. Hence why I shoot all the Nazis I see. Don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna go back. I got one target left and I finished the mission. Yeah. Okay, wrong one. No, no, no. Ah, oh, that was just suicidal. No! <laughs> wrong one. I was meant to hit the run, I mind. I've almost finished anyway, what do I get? Oh! Ooh. Oh! Oh, that's just nasty. I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Even I feel bad. Ah, oh. They just popped. Ah, oh, I... I'd, that was... Blah. Do I have to go down there now? Ah, oh, I have to go down there anyway. What was the point? What was the point in popping his testicles? Completely by mistake. I just want to emphasize that. I was not aiming for that area. Boom. <laughs> All right, back up the hill I go. I don't think they're that far off coming from behind. So I can't be too long here. Who have I got left? Bollocks. Got him. Alright, they got me. They saw me. Can't go over that. Go, oh, come on, come on. Um. All right, this isn't going too badly. I can get up from over there. Yeah. Freedom! That's a wrap. I missed one camera, but there. Uh, Schmidt's Lane! I can't read that, it's too small. Uh, I've killed General Tobias Schmidt and the four high ranking Nazi officers. The intel I grabbed suggests the new missile was created by someone called Kessler, and that the Nazis were filming the attack 
on the Arcadia, Arcadia, uh, for propaganda purposes. I have escaped from San Salini. Now I need to report back to British intelligence. Right. Kills, 60! Woo! Uh, ghost kills, 12. That's pretty good for me. So that's 12 kills, no one saw coming. Headshots, 32. That's an over 50% markup. I like it. Accuracy, 61%. And longest shot is 193.5. Now these are all uh, targets to beat in the next mission. Ah, cool. What did I get? Uh, level 2. Uh, level 3. Alright. Private Mark 2. I didn't get any rewards. Wait, what? Ah! They hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button, I think. Alright. What's this? Uh, once I did a town of... Bita Bitanti. Bitanti. Lies in the shadow of the sadistic Nazi general Heinz Baum. 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 On Baum's instructions, the local Nazi garrison has recently purged the town of resistance and are about to execute the remaining partisan prisoners. You must venture into the town and find the leader of the resistance, the mysterious Angel. Okay, let's do this. Hmm, what upgrades? All locked. How do you unlock? 30 some mast kills, 50 shoulder and... Well, that's just bullshit. I hate it when games do that. You want to unlock these upgrades? You have to hit these things. It's like, no! I just want to buy them. Or find them. I can't be bothered to do 50 masked shot kills or whatever. Ugh. Bitan Tea Village. <laughs> Alright, so, same MO as last time. I'm just gonna go in there and shoot everybody. One name kept coming up from San Salini. Andreas Kessler, genius rocket scientist, pioneer of guided missile technology, philanderer, alcoholic, committed Nazi. Kessler's specialty was long-range missiles, but SOE thought he couldn't solve the radio control issues. The destruction of the Orchidea suggests we were wrong, very wrong. There's no doubt the Orchidea was an easy target for a test. But if the Nazis have a controllable long-range missile, it would completely transform the war in their favor. American intelligence, OSS, think Kessler is in Italy, probably under the protection of a brutal Nazi general called Heinz Bohm. I've been dispatched to the coastal town of Batanti to meet our OSS contact. With the invasion of Sicily imminent, it's crucial we find out what the Nazis are up to. Okay. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Receiving you, Red Fox. American observation plane has spotted relay tower on outskirts of town. Neutralize mobile radio operator before he can summon reinforcements. Also, deal with the sniper. Out. Red Fox out. There just happens to be a radio here. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. I'll go with it. Where am I going? Okay, I assume this is... No. Where's inland? Loot 
Lieutenant Carl Fairburn. Nice job on Sansolini, especially given the circumstances. A lot of brave men died on the Orchidia. We need to make sure their sacrifice was worth it. We need to find Kessler. Yep, they told me you were a to-the-point kind of guy. I'm Jack Weaver, by the way. OSS appreciates the necessity for urgency, Carl, but we have to be a little careful here. What do you know about Heinz Bohm? The Butcher of Bologna. Yeah, Bohm is a sadistic bastard, a slippery one too. We still don't know what he looks like. Oh, his handiwork though, well, it's everywhere. We think he's the one handling Kessler. Find Bohm, find Kessler, I get it. Your people think the best bet is to reach out to the local resistance. Given our past experience with the Partisans, we uh, think it might be a little difficult, but we're willing to give it another try. I need a name and a location. The leader is a woman by the name of Sofia de Rocco. They, huh, they call her the Angel. You'll find her in the town. Okay, I'll give it a try. Carl, listen to me. The Nazis have been conducting a rastrolamento. They've been sweeping up the town, rounding up partisans, and... Chances are the executions have already begun. Do you know where they are? Your guess is as good as mine. Partisans have an HQ. You find that, might be some help. I'm on it. Carl? This place... It's a tinderbox. You just need to find something to start the fire. That guy looks so creepy, isn't he? I think it's his mouth. His, look, his lips look like they stretch across their te his teeth. <sighs> Alright, by the time we got off this weird island, I've now somehow got on. And time to go and kill Nazis. So you want to go kill Nazis? See if I can locate the partisan HQ. Food spine. The other guy's gonna be like, Mein Gott, Mein Gott in Himmel. Camera was a good choice. He's gone. Trying to hit the gas tank, but that's not that's not gonna happen. Uh, okay. Ooh, who else? Who else is scurrying around? Hmm. Now it looks like there's no one, but there's bound to be someone. 
that has gotten really good at hiding. Headshot, yeah, that is a headshot. Oh, long shot. I'll take it. Still means that sniper's down. Two on the minimap, I can see. Just over there. Uh, if I double back, I should be able to get a decent line of sight on them. E well, I said should. Didn't make any promises. Why can't I see them? On you. I think I've grabbed all I can. Mm, almost out of. No, I'm not too bad actually. I'm doing too badly on ammo. Don't seem to see anybody. Oh. Who's seeing me out? Ah. Well, he ain't seeing much of anybody anymore. Out a few of them. That's 
I'm gonna take this town single-handedly. The HQ should be somewhere around here. I'm up that. Is are they all going to just hide or come and check what happened to their commander? Run and hide. Is there a certain thing that's supposed to be? Find the part of San HQ, yeah. Is there a certain thing I'm supposed to be looking at? Ah, look, the entire city is on my ass now. See anyone? Plenty of explosions. Don't see anyone? Because I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, what's this way? I need to locate the palace headquarters. It's liable to be in a lower part of the town and it's probably well hidden. Sophia, the palace and leader, they call the Angel or the Angel, ought to be waiting for me. The lower part of the town. Alright. Yeah. Oh. 
Oui, tout bon ça. Satchel charges. Reckon I'm gonna need these. Sophia's note says she's gone to the castle. Is it Castle Von Doom? Okay, which castle? What? Up there. Okay, that's easy enough to get to. Just got to shoot my way through some Nazis. I'm going the wrong way. Is that up, 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 up ahead? Yeah, this way. I can't tell. I'm guessing it's this way. Sure, if these are the guys I'm supposed to be shooting. Uh, I know that I'm. I know these are the guys I'm meant to be killing. They're Nazis, but are they the ones fighting the partisans? Oh, I knocked out all of his teeth except his two front ones. broke his neck. Ok, 
Okay, where's the other guys? Where are the other guys? There they are. I'm kind of weird. I'm kind of surprised the helmet doesn't break, but whatever. I'll go with it. Oh shit. Okay, so this... There was a sniper in that direction. Not anymore. And these are the partisan guys, right? That is the stones. No more to find here. Yeah, I, I do love this game. Simply for like the sniping and whatnot, and that kill cam. Ah, just, it just adds a new layer to the gunplay, I think. A disgusting layer, I admit, but uh, still a fun layer. Best pocket this. Okay, where am I going? Move to the next... Next one. The next building over up here. Graveyard. Nope, just the mausoleum. Fair enough. Uh, right. So there's no objective here anymore. Now let's carry on. Like ah, I thought that was places. that would lead me into something. Oh well. An ideal place to use Sophia's gift. That's it. I'm definitely going to hell. Down here, then up those steps. If I'm able to get up there. Ooh, to the mouth again. God, ah, yeah, that is this gruesome. Absolutely gruesome. Just seeing the teeth and everything fly off. Ugh. Or the eye just pop. Or the testicle burst. Kablooey! I that wasn't anywhere near as big as I was expecting. That was just a little fizzle on the bottom of the screen. Hope I'm not too late. Okay, so not many stats from the first mission were defeated in that little second one. Um, then again, I felt the second one was 
an overall smaller mission than the first. 35 kills, 2 ghost kills, I'm fine with that, 22 headshots, 66% accuracy was better than the first, I think the first was like 61%, so there you go, we've got an improvement there. Uh, longest shot, 165, 165.3, I think the first longest shot was 193.5, there. Yeah. That's fine. I felt I felt like the m that map was a lot smaller than the first missions map. So, and even if it wasn't a lot smaller, even if it was roughly the same size, there was a lot more buildings and whatnot. So it was it was a lot more close range. I felt. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm going to call this to an end. I think uh, this time around. So this has been episode two of my Sniper Elite Four walkthrough with commentary. Thank you all for watching. Uh, can you please remember to like, leave a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a like to show me that you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, anything that you'd like, and I will do my best to get back to you. Even if it's just a small shout out for support, and so on. And hit that subscribe button for you to keep up to date with all of the walkthroughs I'm doing. I usually release something daily, or at least try to. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.